What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and oh man, will all the embarrassments ever end for Paul Feig's Ghostbuster 2016? I don't think it will. I, I actually think that this movie will continue to give just nuggets of embarrassment for maybe ever. I don't really know. I, I it's it's today's embarrassment is a, a formal rebuke of the movie essentially saying that you know a movie for a movie that sony was supposedly all for a movie that you know was totally uh cool with the ghostbusters crew it is getting rejected that's right they did not include the 2016 ghostbusters with the film franchise box set which includes ghostbusters 1 ghostbusters 2 and ghostbusters afterlife but not Ghostbusters 2016, and Paul Feige, Feige, the director, is having an absolute meltdown. This and more after a quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this video sponsor, Geology. Who is Geology? Well, they're a six-time award-winning men's skincare company recognized in Men's Health, Esquire, and Ask Men Grooming Awards. Geology creates a simple and effective skincare routine customized just for you with ingredients that are proven to work and formulated for daily use. And look, fellas, I know you might feel a little bit weird about taking up a skincare routine, but I assure you the results are worth it. How does it all work? Super easy. If you click the link in the description below, you take a 30-second diagnostic quiz, and with a few clicks, you tell them your skin goals, and their team of dermatologists will design a regimen just for you that's shipped directly to your door. It's that simple. For me, the, my favorite product is just the face wash. It just leaves my face feeling nice and clean. I do it a couple times a day just to get kind of refreshed. You start with a complete trial set, the everyday face wash, the vital morning face cream, repairing night cream, and the nourishing eye cream. Then you also get two bottles of face wash, one for the sink and one for the shower or to take with you to the gym. Head on over to geology.com and take their free skincare quiz to save up to 50% off on your 30 day trial, or just click the link below. That's geology.com to save 50% on your 30 day trial. Ah, yes, Cuban B. Now, just to give you a little refresher here, <coughs> Ghostbusters 2016, garbage film, right? I think we all can agree. Garbage film, garbage acting, garbage writing, garbage CGI, garbage writing. Did I say garbage writing already? Garbage. Uh, critics loved it, though. 74%. They actually gave it a higher rate, higher review than Ghostbusters Afterlife. Significantly higher than Ghostbusters Afterlife. Like 20% higher than Ghostbusters Afterlife, which received only a 62 from critics. C certified fresh by the way this movie was fans gave it a 49 percent certified rotten with over a hundred thousand reviews if we look at ghostbusters afterlife it has a 95 percent now this is after the verified ratings <coughs> scrub so there's only five thousand total reviews five thousand plus total reviews here um where Ghostbusters 2016 was still suffering under the ability to uh, just have anybody review a film. And again, I am a fan of having verified reviews, a huge fan of it. Um, because then, you know, hey, you should have at least seen the dang movie um, before you leave a review. I mean, I don't want to see reviews from people who haven't seen the movie, um, but that's, you know, so I support that. People thought that, you know, the, the, these media shills were like, ha we got them. We got those outraged drama channels because now you have to have a review. You can't review Brigade. Good. Good. Good then. Because when I see a 95%, I know that it's legit. I know that this is coming from people who actually saw the movie. That's a good thing. Now, Ghostbusters Afterlife was a fine movie. It wasn't, it wasn't great. It was, you know, now that I've been, you know, a little wise, a little while removed from it, you know, I thought it was an uneven movie that really brought it home in the end. 
and I thought Paul Rudd did a good job, and I thought the the kid actors did really good. Um, it had this inescapable Stranger Things vibe, which you know kind of stunk, but overall it was pretty good. Had some nice callbacks, and it was a good ride. You know, happy I got to see it in the theater. <coughs> As I sit home now with the coof, still haven't been able to see Spider Man. No way home or far from home or home homeward bound or whatever it's called. Uh, I'm resisting it. I have seen some digital copies. I was just I got in a boat just to go look. I was just out in a boat. I out in deep waters. You know, I was just taking a look. I wasn't going to do anything, and I saw it out there. But um, I'm holding off. Uh, I should be able to go go to the movie theater hopefully in the new year. And uh, I'm sure the movie will still be out. But now there has been a definitive box set. And Ghostbusters 2016 is declined. Shunned. Banned. The studio is releasing a Ghostbusters Ultimate Collection gift set timed to the Jason Reitman's recent film sequel. In honor of the planned February 1st home release date of Ghostbusters Afterlife, the studio is releasing an eight-disc Ghostbusters Ultimate Collection to Blu-ray and 4K Ultra HD on the same day. Included in the gift sets are 1984's Ghostbusters, 1989's Ghostbusters 2, and with director Jason Reitman's 2021 film Ghostbusters Afterlife. Notably absent is the Kevin Feige. No, I keep wanting to see Feige. It's Feig. Notably absent was the Feig-directed film that starred... Melissa McCarty, Kristen Wiig, Kate McKinnon, and Leslie Jones. Did it destroy all their careers? Might have. After the omission garnered some attention on social media, Feig took to Twitter to share his thoughts, which included him noting that the original film stars Bill Murray and Dan Arkwright and Ernie, Ernie Hudson all appeared in the 2016 movie. Um, Sony Pictures... I know this must be a mistake, he wrote. We do have a lot of fans, and Bill, Dan, and Ernie were in it. So it won the Kids Choice Award for Best Feature Film of the Year. It came out. So Augustus this was an oversight. Feig, Feig added hashtag we are all Ghostbusters. Sony did not immediately respond to requests for comment. Additionally, the company's Twitter account did not reply to the bridesmaid director's tweet. Cope. This person has a poster. You have a poster for the 2016 Ghostbusters. Afterlife was a concluding part of the trilogy set in the same universe. Your film chose to ignore that. Shut out the fans of the originals, putting it in a different existence. It's not canon. You may have had Bill, Dan and Ernie, but they weren't playing the characters we loved. Like they didn't even, he isn't even getting support. The set doesn't include the real Ghostbusters or extreme Ghostbusters either, and neither of their creators are complaining. I was looking for that. I have that. Um, where's that box set? The the cartoon is actually awesome. I, I think I should go back and rewatch that someday. He's not getting any support. None. Protect women from what? Sony literally got caught deleting comments and, that criticized the film, but left comments that were... Sp spicy, which were like 0.2% of the comments. Then emails leaked from Sony saying they were going to try and make it a feminist thing. You were tricked. This is the actual the third Ghostbusters movie, the Ghostbusters video game. If you ever want to, I'm sure somebody's done it. Uh, there's probably all the cutscenes from the Ghostbusters video game. That's the third Ghostbusters movie. Um, and you just see like no, nobody in these replies, nobody in these replies are giving them any, any. You get uh, Charles Kahn in here laughing at him. Um, it, it's, it's, you could do a box set for all the garbage cash grabs. Like here you can see. The Ghostbusters Ultimate Gift Set doesn't include Ghostbusters 2016, and that's a huge problem. Is it? Didn't you, Paul Feig, Feig 
didn't you purposely go out of your way to say that you didn't want that you were doing your own thing? You weren't in the same universe. You did that. You went out there and said you didn't want to rely on original Ghostbusters canon or lore. You did that. You wanted to make it a feminist thing. You did that. You made all the men characters idiots in your movie. You did that. Um, you said you wanted to be, you wanted to stand alone. Okay. Well, what are you worried about? You could see in 2017, Ekroy discussed the film on a British talk show saying that Feig will not be back on the Sony lot anytime. Feig will not be back on the Sony lot anytime soon. According to the actor, um, that Feig spent too much on it and he didn't film the scenes we suggested for, to him. Ekroy later clarified his comments by posting to his Facebook that he enjoyed the 2016 film, but wished Feig had been more inclusive to the originators. So he wanted to go do his own thing. He didn't want the original cast. He didn't want the original fans. And now he's whining that he's not a part of the trilogy. Wah. Couldn't have happened to a better person. One final embarrassment for the Paul Feig 2016 movie that never existed. Hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.